convert dt graph to vt graph to at graph by divide and conquer method. So, let us get it started. Let us put object at rest. Let us make sure object accelerate. Reverse the reaction and it is come back to the same place. So, make sure object return to the same place. So, if object return to the same place, then its displacement is 0. This is my Vt. This is my Vt. And this is my At. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do. I can definitely divide and conquer from this one. So, let us see how many distinct pieces reasons we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 distinct reason and we are going to convert each and every reason separately. So, let us first understand this one what is going on here. The object changes its position with constant velocity. What does that mean? The object changes its position every second. How much? Let us put some value 2, 4, negative 2, negative 4. All right, let us say object changes its, uh, its, its position 2 meter per second, 2 meter per second, constant velocity. That means the slope of this green line is this one. All right. And the slope of this green line is 2 meter per second. Very good. Now, let us do this part. This part, the object is at rest. That means, object do not change its position from 1 to 2 second. 1 to 2 second object at rest. What does that mean? That means object velocity is 0 from 1 to 2 second. All right. That's great. This velocity is 0 from 1 to 2 second. Okay. Let's look at the next reason. Next reason object accelerate. Object accelerate. And object accelerate. So, if just want to remind you when you take the slope of a curve you get a diagonal line when you take a slope of a diagonal line you get a horizontal line if dt graph if dt graph is is a curve then vt then velocity is then velocity is a diagonal line. If V T graph is a diagonal line, then acceleration is horizontal line. So D T graph is curve. That means the V T graph must be a diagonal. Okay. So object from two to three second object accelerate. From 3 to 4 second, object remain, object changes position, but with constant velocity. How much? Uh, it looked like 4 meter per second. It looked like 4 meter per second. So, 4 meter per second, constant velocity, 4 meter per second. What happened? Object slow down and object reverse, reverses direction right here. When object reverses direction, object velocity is 0. Object velocity is 4 over here. So, it should be it should be negative 4 over here. Because this one and this one same in magnitude opposite in direction. So, I am going to have to find negative 4 and I am going to connect this dot. All right. And pretty much object return back same location return back to the same location return back to the same location with 
same velocity but opposite in direction which is negative 4 meter per second okay now let's find the acceleration so acceleration is zero over here because there is no change in velocity so the slope of this green is zero slope of this red is zero acceleration is zero slope of this green is not zero so there is acceleration from two to three seconds okay so that's that's okay all right and slope of this one is zero so there is no acceleration between three to four seconds slope of this negative that means there is a uh, so that means there is a um, negative acceleration from four to five seconds which that's okay all right that's that's okay and there is no acceleration between five to seven seconds no acceleration between five to seven seconds all right so let me explain what let me explain one more time so the displacement is zero why the displacement is zero because the object will return exactly same location that means the area under the curve of vt graph must be zero let's we did not draw it in a scale but let's try let's try maybe we'll get close that means area above this line above this line is equal to area below this line if you add them up you get zero or close to zero since you did not draw it in a scale so what is the area of this one this is two what is the area of this one so this is one times four is four so this is two what is the area of this one one times four is four what is the area of this one this is one this is 0.5 so this must be one if this is one this is negative one and this is negative four times two this is negative eight so on the top i have two plus two four plus four is eight plus one is nine on the top i have nine on the bottom i have negative eight and negative one negative nine so total displacement is nine minus nine is zero